Hello, this is Dr. Linda Davis, and today I wanted to talk about Word, Microsoft Word, and I wanted to do the mail merge technique. Uh, there's one of two ways to do it, but this way is when you just have a short list that you want to compile into a mail merge and just, you know, kick out several letters, um, labels, whatever the case may be. Sometimes with mail merge, obviously, you'd like to pull from an existing database like Access, and you can do it that way too. So I'm just going to show you this first way, and then I'll do the second way in another video. So what I have in front of you now is just a sample little letter and a little letterhead going on there, and some merge fields in here that I've, I've just kind of notated like they're merge fields, and show you this simple little letter and how we're going to plug in the right information for each person into this short letter. And this is when you don't really have an access database to pull information from, but you you have a list of somewhere that you need to retype it into Word to make it work for this mail merge situation. Um, obviously this is obviously when you just have a short list to do and you don't have uh, an access database to pull from. And this is the uh, basically the table of information I'm going to be typing into the mail merge. I just wanted to show you what I was pulling from here. So when we start the mail merge, let me just launch a blank Word document. So we'll just say new blank document. And let me change the view so it's just a little bit uh, bigger. Well, 100% will do, I guess. Um, Normally we'd have a little letterhead going on up here, um, and with letterhead I'd change my top margins to point to and all that. So, but let me just get to the meat of the issue here, and that is the mail merge process. So, let's um, look at what we've got for menu items up here. We've got mailings, and under mailings is where you can start the mail merge process. So, start mail merge is one of your options. When you click on that you can look down through here but the bottom one for beginners is a great place to start it's called the step-by-step -step mail merge wizard so click on that you notice you'll have a panel come up on the right side and it just kind of leads you through it so first of all I'm doing a letter today so I'll just leave it on letters even though there are other options here and then you'll notice at the bottom of this panel it says next starting document well I'll click on that and it'll kind of ask me questions as we go through here do I want to use the current document or some existing document or some template well obviously use the current documents what I want to do today and next step is select recipients okay well if I had an access uh, file to pull from I just hit browse and I navigate back to that particular query or um, table list or whatever the case may be and in this case I don't have an existing list and I still instead I want to type a new list and just keep it all within Word and not have to go out to access so I'll type a new list and when I do that it gives me the create option so I'll click on create and I'll see this new address list pops up. It gives me their idea of what I, they think I might need. Title, first name, last name, company name, and so on. Um, but I can customize this. I don't have to go with what they've got. And if you see at the toward the bottom of this um, screen, it says Customize Columns. That's what I'm going to click on. And I'm going to make it look like um, the same order uh, of what I've got going on on that piece of uh, paper that I showed you that was just a Word document with lists of people's names and addresses. So let me configure this so it looks more like what I'm doing today. Uh, title, do I need it or not? Yes, I do. Uh, first name, yes I need that. Last name, yes I need that. Um, do I need company name? No, because I'm writing this letter to potential students. So company name, I'm going to delete that. So I can delete that out. I can add fields. I can rename fields. Lots of flexibility here. I can also reorder them, move up or move down as need be. So I have uh, last name, address line one, yeah I need that one, address line two, uh, not in this example case, so I'll delete that one as well. Uh, city, state, zip, yeah I need city, I need state, I need zip, country or region, uh, I'm just doing domestic, so I'm just going to say I don't really want that one today. And after zip code I do need home phone, uh, email address, yes, but it's there, so I can just move it up just for practice with that. Uh, work phone. No, these are students, so I'll delete that one. Um, I need to add some, though. Um, after email address, I need date visited, like the date they visited the campus. So I'll add that one. 
and I call it whatever you want, but I'm going to call it date visited. And after that, I need to customize it further, and I need a field for sport, like what sport or activity they were interested in. And assigned to someone, um, most likely a coach, gave them a campus tour, or admissions counselor, as the case may be. Okay, so I can make these exactly what I need to make them. And once I get that in the right order, uh, in the uh, all the right fields, I'll say OK. Now, you'll notice if, uh, if you scroll across here, you'll see that uh, the more um, customized fields are up there for me. Now, at this point, it's time to type this information in. And I'm just going to do a few. Just fictitious folks. And just tab keeps you moving across the screen. just click on new entry when you're ready to go down to the next line for the next person Another entry. So three or four, you know, I have four, but I'll just do three for the sake of time today. And so we have some information in there, and at this point we're just going to say OK. And you can still go back and at this point correct anything you need to correct. So I'm going to give it a name, and I'll just say, um, and I'm going to save it in a, in a specific folder so I know where to navigate back to to find it. And we'll just call it practice mail merge list. And it will give it its own file type. Now, it, you can still go in and click on that. If you click on it there, if you found see something that's wrong, you can go back in, highlight that, say edit, and it will take you back and let you edit whatever you need to edit. Um, you can also um, you know, do these other items over here, sort, filter, um, 
uncheck it if you don't want it to appear in the merge. So if I'm okay with it, hopefully everything's good to go. I'll say okay. And at this point, you know, it's locked into this particular document. Um, if, if I want to edit it, I can still go over here and do that or select a totally different list. But right now we're good to go. Uh, next is just write your letter. So we want to write the letter and let me just flip over to that document that I showed you at the first and we can um, have our letter head up here. It's a simple one. Um, let me change my uh, margins just a little bit. Let me go to page layout. Margins and just something. I like my point two for the top, for well, especially when I'm doing letterhead. And obviously I want it centered. And I want it uh, monotype Corsiva for this one. And let's make it like a 36 or so. Oops. And get down to the next area. But well, actually, before I leave up here, I need to change my font size back down to something kind of normal. And take it back to Times New Roman. All right and hop down here and we can just have some you know random address for our company name nothing fancy there but let's just get down to the letter part and um, we want to insert our date, of course, and I'll just tab that over to like uh, three and a half would be good. Let me insert a date there using my insert date feature. Insert date and time. Or just date, obviously. And let's start putting some merge fields in. So how do you do that? Well, you go back to mailings because you were there earlier to launch your mail merge but then you just have your insert merge field tool right here and it knows which ones you've created you can see the uh, customized ones we did down here it remembers that it's locked into this document so I will just say uh, what merge field do I need right here well I need title okay now you do have to keep track of all your punctuation and spacing so title space and then I'm gonna put first name in space then click back up here for um, and get it two different ways here or last name same way um, then hit, hit enter to get down to your address line remember we said address line one let me just click on that okay so that's putting the merge codes in is what we're doing at this point hit enter now city state zip code you gotta remember the punctuation and the spacing so let's do city uh, comma space and then put your state in and that's two spaces before the zip code is the way I like to do it and get all those fields in there Okay, now um, you can have fields anywhere you need them to be so dear uh, we'll do first name since it's to students which they don't usually mind being called by their first name now put your punctuation in hit enter a couple times and just start your very short paragraph here we enjoyed your visit to warrior um, international University on and then I have a date visited field that goes in here so let's put that one in S period space space okay assigned to starts the next sentence so let's put that field in there we'll be contacting you about your interest in and sport was next so sport is a field so I'll put that sport in there or activity period space space and then if you have any questions please feel free to contact us at the number
and of course finish out your letter line up your tabs with your date and we'll say sincerely and your name and we'll pretend we're an admissions counselor okay now you've got your merge fields in letters written and next thing you want to do is on the steps is preview your letters and as soon as I hit preview the letters it um, puts actual names in here and you can see the name and address there dear Barbie so it very it very much customizes the letter that's the beauty of mail merge it makes every letter look like it was written specifically for that person and you can see the date you can see Mrs. Go team will contacting you about your interest in cheerleading and so on okay now at this point you're not com you've not completed the merge yet you just get to preview the merge so if you go up here to your arrows you can click through the different ones and this one yeah now they have the <laughs> I thought I forgot the dot after the title but it's in most of them okay all right so that's what you're looking for everyone's a very customized letter uh, with the different information popping up throughout and this works if you put a table in or whatever the case may be all right now we want to complete the merge and you can either print them out obviously or edit individual letters if you want to edit that just means you want to see them all at once say okay and when you do that you get them back to back to back and you can hit print from here obviously but it's just a way to look at all of them I, I know this one I don't have the uh, right punctuation there so let me just add that on hers even though the rest of them have it to something I didn't do in the um, table creation part and you can save it or whatever so um, that's very basic mail merge there hope that uh, adds a new tool to your toolbox thank you